that is called bistec relleno, a stuffed steak. Hello, my name is Jay C and welcome to the Cuban Redneck DIY channel where we do cooking and grilling on Tuesdays and DIY stuff on Fridays. If by any chance you're struggling to score any brownie points with karma, do yourself a favor man, just hit that subscription button. With that said, today's dish, uh, I'm gonna say it's a family recipe. I have no idea where it came from. I was talking to my mom. Uh, she learned from her parents uh, and grand grandparents and grandparents. So, given that I'm on 60% Iberian, uh, the only guess it came from somewhere in Spain. Uh, there are some uh, recipes online, but they don't resemble anything of what I know as pistel relleno. Uh, they're using uh, calabaza, which is pumpkin, and uh, there's another version called uh, rodillos de carne, which is uh, beef rolls uh, with ham and stuff. Uh, nowhere near uh, what I'm talking about. Uh, the way that I learned how to make Vite uh, Relleno is actually a very elegant, very savory dish. And although uh, the funny thing about that is that it's put together from scratch. So if you have, um, you know, one chorizo, you got a little bit of ground beef, you got a little bit of pork, but individually those things don't amount to anything. That's how Vite uh, Relleno comes to be in my house. So without any more delays, let's talk about ingredients. As I said in the intro, this dish is more often than not made from scraps. Because of that, the list of ingredients is quite flexible. As long as the sauce stays consistent, the Spanish taste profile will remain. For the stuffing, I will be using some leftover Cuban frita mix, consisting of 75% lean ground beef and Spanish chorizo. However, the way my mom normally makes it is with a 50-50 mix of pork and ground beef, along with one or two chopped chorizo links. The wrap will consist of a thinly sliced beef round or cube steak, which I've seasoned with a mixture of salt and baking soda the night before. We are also gonna need a half an onion, a half a green pepper, four cloves of garlic, two bay leaves, two cups of tomato sauce, one cup of water, a 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes, one tablespoon of tomato paste, one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of cumin, a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of black pepper, and a teaspoon of oregano. If you opted to tenderize your steaks with salt and baking soda, consider washing them thoroughly and pat it then dry before reseasoning. Know that although this Spanish dish may look very fancy, there is nothing to it. If you've ever made a burrito or a wrap, you can do this. All we are doing here is placing the stuffing, which by the way can include things like diced cheese, carrots, olives, sun-dried tomatoes, croutons, and even small pieces of diced fried potatoes in the center of a steak. We're then going to tie it up with butcher's twine to keep it from coming apart until we cook it. Some people use toothpicks and depending on what type of stuffing you are using, I guess that may work. I have had my stuffed steaks come apart way too many times so I don't use that anymore. When it comes to tying up these things, there is a fancy way of doing it, one I never bothered to learn. At the end of the day, as long as they feel firm and like they're not gonna come apart, you are good to go. With both of our bistec rellenos prepared, we can start cooking. A lot of people recommend cooking stuffed steaks in an oven or even an Instapot, but since my meat is very tender, I'm going to make them on the stove top. Put a tablespoon of olive oil in a deep saucepan and bring it to temperature on the medium high heat. We're then going to sear the stuffed steak starting with the seam down a couple of minutes per side. This will not only seal it but also give it a little bit of color. After rotating them every two minutes, move them towards the center of the pot and let's spread our onion and peppers around it. Give it a couple of minutes then add the rest of your ingredients. Once it comes to a boil, cover it and cook it for 10 minutes on the medium high heat. After the timer has expired, bring the temperature down to medium low and cook for an additional 5 minutes. If you would like to add vegetable, now is the time to do it. A cup of frozen peas and carrots will add a nice touch to the sauce. 15 minutes later, our Spanish style stuffed steaks are ready for serving. But we first need to remove the butcher's twine. I personally like to serve my bistec rellenos in slices that are cut at an angle. Something like this. 
my friends my name is JC and this is the Cuban Redneck DIY channel I want to thank you for watching and I look forward to having you as a subscriber